Hello student, welcome to Soul of Sir classes. Here, two statements are given in each of the following question. Followed by two conclusion number 1 and 2, you have to take the given two statements to be true even if they seem to be at variance from commonly known facts. Read the conclusion and then decide which of the given conclusion logically follows from two disregarding known facts give answer if only conclusion one follows option two if only conclusion two follows option c if neither one or nor two follows and option d if both conclusion one and two follows here's the first problem a statement all hearts are mansions and all mansions are temples Conclusion 1. Some temples are hearts. Conclusion 2. Some temples are mansion. So here are the four options. If only option A, if only conclusion 1 follows. Option B, if only conclusion 2 follows. Option C, if neither 1 nor 2 follows. And option D, if both conclusion 1 and 2 follows. Here are the solution. Now suppose if this is temples then it is mansions and the last one is heart H M T. So I think option D will be the right answer because this shows that the case of universal affirmative proportion so clearly some temples are hearts as well as some temples are mansions so both conclusion are follows that means option d both conclusion one and two are follows next problem all pens are pencil no pencil is cap conclusion all caps are pencils and conclusion two some caps are pencils so according to the question if this is pencil then this is pens its pens and its pencil and this is caps so clearly neither conclusion 1 or non conclusion 2 follows that means option C will be the right answer next problem read the following information carefully and answer the question given a b c d e f g are playing cards sitting in a circle option a f is second to the right of g option b uh, b uh, is neither of f but nor of e option e the neighbor of c is fourth of the right of g and option d is between e and a so here the first question who is the fourth to left of G? Option D, E, C and cannot be determined. So, draw the circle like that. And if there is a point it's A D, E, C, F, B and G. So, uh, the first question, who is the fourth to the left of G? That means um, the person C. The person C is the fourth to the left of G. So, the right answer will be option C. The next problem, who is the left to G? Who is the left to G? Uh, so, Person A, person A is left to G. So the option A will be the right answer. And the next question, who are the neighbors of F? Here um, C and B, C and B are the neighbors of F. So option D will be the right answer.